Go. So fixed blade. Yes. And folding. Hi everyone and welcome to Tactical Combat System channel. In today's video I will try to touch two main subjects. One is referring to the balisong or the butterfly knife and how we can use it in the mentality of Tactical Combat System and the other is referring to the folding knife because some of you were asking if I can make a tutorial about the throwing of the folding knife. Even if I have in my past videos some examples, I will try today to make it step by step so you can understand better how we can use our folding knife to in the close distance fight and also to throw it. When we speak about butterfly knives or barisong, the majority of the people are having in their mind this kind of movements of opening and closing fast and flipping and catching and again closing, opening. These are very nice, but as an art, yeah? I repeat, the importance in a close combat distance fight with a knife or using of my weapon, there are four main important elements. How fast I can identify a potential target, how fast I can deploy my weapon, how fast I can hit the target and how precise I can hit it, yeah? The three and four again are coming together. So these kind of movements, even if they are looking nice and beautiful, will not help me in a real situation. So today I will show you how to use this in a close range uh, fight in such a way that I can open it fast and use it. First of all, you must understand that is a difference between a fixed blade and a folding uh, a knife or like this, a knife that is not in a mode to be used and I must flip it or make some mechanics of it in such a way that after I open it, it's ready to use, yeah? So the time in which I deploy a folding knife, the time in which I deploy this kind of knife, because now we talk about the butterfly knife, the balisong knife, it's higher than when I have a fixed blade, yeah? So very important to understand these aspects and very important to train and to learn exactly the techniques that they are faster than other yeah if if somebody you see somewhere that somebody is taking the knife and is making this to open it here it's one more than one second in which i must take it out from my pocket twist it yeah the secure part of it is coming on the fingers then i rotate it catch it and now it's ready to use so in a real real fight it will be very very difficult and I talk again that in a real situation your motricity of the fingers, your fine motor skills will not be the same. So these kind of movements, they will be very hard to make. This is the reason why we start with the idea that we must focus on simple techniques and how fast I can deploy it in such a way that I can use it to hit the target. Uh, showing you a simple drill that you can implement in your training I repeat you, the drills are made only in such a way that you can achieve something. Muscle memory, uh, uh, speed, precision, yeah? Of course, in real situation, all, everything is happening, but we must train in such a way that we have this kind of mechanics and the brain knows how to operate the weapon if you will be in a real situation. So I start from here. My butterfly knife, my body song is in my pocket the hoodie i am with the left leg in front i am making only one only one movement like striking at the face or making distance to my target in this way and in this time i am creating a little bit of space between me and the target of course i can move back this is the idea i am hitting i am taking out the body song and the movement is very simple. I will show you from here. My thumb finger is catching the body song handle between it and the other fingers. The index fingers and the other finger. Yeah, it's like a support. And here I let it the, the down handle, the bite handle, also known like the bite handle, the handle that is 
the part on the part of the of, of the blade i let it going down and then i use the force the mechanics to make these movements in such a way that is closing yeah so again i'm here i'm only making this kind of movement from here opening again the finger is catching the thumb finger putting pressure on this handle on the on the other fingers and here is letting loose and i make this motion i take the thumb finger from there and it's closed yeah i am ready to use it yeah when i want to close it is so i open it when i want to close it i put it down and i make the same motion now i twist it and this is the motion yeah of opening it's very simple method and it's faster than when i want to do here twisting around on all these things yeah so only here opening and i'm ready to use so again i'm in this position i am hitting in this moment i am deploying the bali song i am open it and i'm ready to strike again one out opening strike from here normally after i deploy the weapon i can do whatever strikes i want yeah i can implement striking cutting cutting step making distance doesn't matter or only i can strike opening strike going back if i'm talking about strategy and tactics of using a knife my advice don't use this kind of knives in your daily uh, carry but if you like it like an art and you also make all these movements and you also want to implement in your training a combat aspect of this knife go for the fast kind of deployments yeah so i am here i am having the knife i am hitting opening fast strike creating space or only hitting opening and i am in a fighting stanza so this is one of the main drill another one many people are thinking that to use the body song you need that the both handles to be in your hand yeah straight and you can operate it it's true you have better uh yeah better grip on it and uh, the power of striking it will be uh, higher but if i need it immediately to use i can also open the knife yeah without catching it because when the blade is when the when the body song is open here the blade cannot go anymore down it's blocked the only uh, direction it's back yeah so if i am opening the blade i can put if i it's needed immediately i and i don't have the time to catch it i can put my thumb finger on the blade and striking fast fast yeah again if you are striking like this but you hit hard parts of the body like bones and others uh, other part of the bodies normally that the blade will make this yeah but if you need it for a fast uh, hit in a soft area of the body neck eyes you can open it fast strike and then you can catch it in a more secure grip and use it yeah so again here i'm striking i'm only making this movement it's open i put a force with my thumb on the other side of the blade yeah and i am striking creating distance space then i can catch it in a normal grip and after i'm learning this kind of openings for example the first one that i was showing you yeah i'm closing it and from here again put pressure with the fingers opening and the blade it's ready to use yeah simple thing not complicated stuff yeah and you make this kind of movements again and again and again i want to repeat to you to understand the weak points of this kind of blade the weak points of necessitating this kind of fine motor skill because in a real situation i repeat 
you will not have this fine motor skills operating at the same uh, level so this kind of movements is possible to be very hard to make yeah okay with training you can you can make it better and better i don't say that you cannot open it but i want to understand the weak points of this kind of blade yeah so hitting opening and there from there you can do whatever drill you want step to the lower part of the bed body step after up yeah this is one drill yeah i'm here opening another one hitting opening coming with a slash coming with a slash coming with a step yeah the same idea only opening don't forget guys I'm making this drill here yeah to not exit from the camera uh, zone yeah to see me how I operate here but I remind you every time when you are making the, a drill yeah I'm making a strike I'm not remaining here I'm making a strike and I create as much distance as I can yeah again staying here and making 10,000 techniques this is only an exercise a drill that is helping you for of the for the motricity of the body yeah in reality you will not make this yeah i have if i must hit i'm deploying i'm taking my knife i'm deploying it opening i make one strike it's enough that it is i'm not remaining there especially in the idea that the other has the weapon another weapon so what is the idea if i'm staying here i am stabbing cutting and the other also is stabbing me yeah it's very important to understand that if you operate a weapon and you make different kind of drills from the same place every time yeah i'm moving right left around but in the same zone when it will be a real situation your brain will function the same because every day you program it at your trainings in your drills to operate like this another important aspect when you talk about the body song or the butterfly knife is that we can use it like an impact weapon yeah until to open it and to have the blade ready i can take it from my pocket hit with it yeah i'm hitting bam, bam, like a impact weapon i'm hitting then i'm opening it and I am ready to use it like a blade yeah so very important thing to understand this is one of the good part of the Bali song yeah because I can have it for example in my hand yeah without even if I strike the idea of killing the other uh, opponent so I can strike and can make multiple strikes and then when I need it I can open it and begin to make my techniques so guys, now when we talk about the folding knife, again, like always, I tell you, study the weapon and try to identify the weak points of this kind of weapon, if you're using the, the folding knife in a, in a combat situation, yeah? So the same thing, like I was saying to the Bali song, here is the same, you cannot compare a folding knife a non-automatic folding knife yeah, uh, with a fixed blade or a folding knife that uh, you can push it and it's uh, exiting immediately the blade outside yeah it's like it's already there the fixed blade yeah but because in the majority of the countries fixed blades are illegal and automatic folding knives are illegal it's possible and you are a law-abiding citizen it's possible that the only tool that you have with you it's a non-automatic uh, folding knife this is opening like this because like i show you in other video uh, i am making this movement normally if i push only the the flipper from the knife it's making this yeah so many times it will be not ready to use This means that I must make another movement to open it and to be ready to fight with it. But because I am pushing the flipper and also I am making the motion of the wrist, it's very fast and it's opening 
like an automatical folding knife, yeah? Another very important idea is the same thing that I was saying to the Bali song. In a real situation, your dexterity, your fine motor skills from the fingers will not be the same. So this is requiring this kind of movements of fine motor skill to push this button. This is the reason why I was making in the past this video, you have the link here with dangerous concealed carry in which I show you also some methods in which you can make a hack to, uh, to, to this uh, folding in such a way that you can deploy it faster and be ready to use. Yeah. So don't forget, learn your weapon and try to understand it. Why it why has weak points and how you can prevent this to be a, uh, an obstacle to your deployment and to uh, your use of this weapon. Yeah. So when we talk about weak points, one is the idea that I must use fine motor skills and the other is the idea of time. Yeah, It's taking me a long time. If I am in a situation in which now I must operate my knife, let's say I'm in a fighting hand-to-hand -hand combat situation and then the fight is passing to weapon and I must deploy it, this movement, my hand to go on the folding knife, taking it out, open it and then use it it's long time yeah when we talk about uh, a combat uh, situation a real combat situation this time can cost me my life yeah so i have the same drill like we make with the body song i am hitting it's a drill again i am hitting and the other hand is going on the folding knife my thumb finger is going catching inside of the pocket the the folding knife, the other index fingers, finger and the middle finger are going on the clip of the knife. Then I am taking it out, opening outside. Yeah, always outside I am opening, not inside because when I open inside and the target is continuing the movement, I can hit with the blade his body and it will remain in a position that I cannot operate the weapon. So I am deploying, opening, and then I am making my combination or what I want, yeah? So, one, opening, coming, two, three, four. So, I am making my slash, slash, stab, yeah, this is a drill, again, I repeat, it can be only... One strike and it's that's all, yeah. Then I create the distance, I make space because I implement now in my drill a throw. When we talk about throwing the folding knife, we must understand again the weak points. And that is one of it, it's the light, it's a light weapon, yeah. So it's not heavy. This means that the impact will not be so powerful like when I have, for example, a big fixed blade, yeah. Again, it's not a custom throwing knife, yeah? so you must practice a lot to achieve the movement in which you can operate throwing this knife correctly and hitting preci precise the target. But as I show you in, a past, uh, in the past videos, after you learn the techniques, you can throw with whatever you want, yeah? folding knife, fixed blade, custom knife, doesn't matter, you will throw with it. Yeah? So, very important to understand again weak points strong points when i'm throwing the knife my grip it's many are using for throwing with a knife are using the index for the nose pin the index finger yeah i'm not putting it like this i'm not throwing like this why because first when i'm deploying the uh, the the knife if i'm already in entering a throwing uh, stanza and I need to use it from close combat because my target already closed the distance Like this I cannot operate and fight good with the knife. This is the reason why I open it and I have a good Very good grip in which I can cut and make my movements if the target is very close Then when I make the distance for throw is the same. I am making the distance and I'm only from this grip passing to this grip so the knife is coming my thumb finger it's here 
yeah the knife is like on this position yeah and the index finger finger is here the thumb is coming here i'm only making it up yeah i take the position and i release like a cut it's exactly like i want if i'm here and i want to give a slash the same is the motion of throwing i am throwing the knife i'm going and here is release and my hand is going like i was wanted to make a cut yeah so from here i have one two taking the knife out opening throw it so again i repeat you after i'm hitting and i taking the knife out the position in which i throw the knife it's not changing so i am here to hit if i hit with the knife or to cut and from here i only twist my fingers a little bit and from here i am throwing the knife i am going up opening throw i don't lose time to open it here then to go i'm here it's already open throwing it so again i have the time i have the space i'm not taking anymore here opening throw i am taking it out and until i reach the throwing position i am already with the knife open and then i'm only throwing it so here taking up opening throw here until i reach up open it throw here open throw it's basically one move two moves in the one move i help my wrist to open it and then it's coming back too if i make only this it's possible to open it's possible to not open yeah to remain like this yeah this is the reason why my move is one and i use the force of my hand and then coming back yeah One, two. One, two. One, two. I don't say that this is the best technique. I'm saying that this is the technique that is the best for me. Yeah? This is the technique in which I train to reduce how much I can the time because this time is very precious in a real situation. So again, I repeat, if I was opening, if I take my knife and I have time and I open here, yeah? From here, I must again go up in the position to throw and throw. But if I'm going directly, I taking the knife from the clip and I'm going directly up, I'm already with it open. So this movement here, it's eliminated. So I have directly here and then only throw it. So guys, I repeat again, combat knife throwing is happening in close range distance. Because if I am at the long distance, the target has unpredictable movement. It's very hard to hit that. So the idea of me giving, for example, if I was in the hand-to-hand -hand combat and I'm giving this strike, yeah? This is permitting me, is creating the time in which I can deploy my knife and throw it yeah but it's show it's close the distance and even if the target is making this or is making this the knife i will i will aim for the center mass yeah and the knife will be inside yeah so this is the reason why it's happening in the close range uh, distance so i have one two strikes i'm going here opening already up throwing it and then deploy my secondary weapon again i repeat don't forget if you throw the knife don't remain with empty hands empty hands against weapons i'm not a fan of it it's a lot of mud here but uh, i repeat you again training these kind of conditions is more hard you must maintain your equilibrium better the movements are changing and everything is changing yeah so take a look here i will try to make a a throw from a concealed carry with a flex with a fixed blade yeah so i have the fixed blade and then i will make it with the 
folding knife. So I'm here, the movement for the conceal blade, I'm taking up my clothes and taking the knife and throw it, yeah? Of course, the time and the space is permitting. Yeah? Now with the folding knife, so basically the difference between the time is not so big. Why? Because you can say, okay, but you have in the conceal more the fixed blade, but it's the same. If I'm doing this, taking the knife and throw, or I'm doing this, yeah, I must catch with my fingers uh, the folding knife, taking it out, open it and throw, it's not so much difference. The only good part, I repeat, to a fixed blade is that when I catch it, I must not do any more other moves, yeah? So you are, it's already secure in your hands, yeah? Here, I must use my uh, dexterity of the fingers to open it and to throw it, yeah? So fixed blade, it's and folding. Of course, it's a lot of difference. A fixed blade, this fixed blade, it's heavy. When this is penetrating the body, damage, yeah? This is a lighter blade, but again, work with what you have in your daily carry. Don't train with custom throwing knives if you for combat. If you'll never have a custom throwing knife with you, yeah? Train with what you have. Many times when you talk about throwing with a manually, non-automatic folding knife, many will think that it's impossible for combat or it will be very hard, yeah? Because it's taking time and it's true. But after you train and you train, you can find the weak points of this folding knife and you can try to adapt yourself to what you have because basically if you are a law-abiding citizen, that it will be your weapon, yeah? So, normally if you don't learn different kind of things, when I take my knife, it will be this and this to open it and this to create space and then to throw. But if you learn your weapon and you know that you can make the same thing like with an automatical folding knife by making only this, then you already understand that this part of uh, the weakness of the folding knife it's not existing anymore, yeah? The same, if you understand that I can do this movement and opening in the direction, in the period of uh, distance from where I take it from my pocket until I throw it, then oh, again, I lose one movement, this here, then going up. So I take it out, open it on this interval of distance and then throw it. Fixed blade, this. Folding knife. Here. Up. Through. Up. Through. Up. Through. So you see how fast you can open the folding knife and also throwing it. I identify the target, deploying in this time my weapon, but also I'm moving, stepping from there in another position, throw the knife. After you master your drawings of the knife from the same place, begin to implement this drill. I'm here checking at 6 o'clock, I identify the target, I am deploying my weapon, but also moving, stepping around and change my position, throw 
from this side. Our aim is to reach, to move and throw. Yes. Always I try to change my position. I identify the target, move and throw. Go! Yes. Oh.